A Centro Ybor security guard told us he feared he was about to be stabbed. He insists this Facebook video does not show what happened before things turned violent. And on your sides, Peter Bernard joins us now live with this exclusive interview. And Peter, he lost his job over this. That's right. Good evening, Gail. That security guard and his partner are off the job tonight. Now one of them wants you to know why he did it. The video shows a Centro Ybor security guard push a man to the ground and seconds later use pepper spray. Now in an exclusive interview, that guard, who goes by Moose and didn't want his face shown, explained he'd told the man three times not to use Centro outlets for his laptop. You know, I let him know nicely, you know, the outlets are not for public use. You know, first three times he left, no problem. But the fourth time, he insists the man got aggressive. Uh, he became verbally abusive and, um, you know, told him to leave again, and he threatened to stab me. Threatened to stab you? Yes, so you sir. were in fear for your life? Absolutely. Moose feared the man digging in his bag may have retrieved a knife. I wasn't going to stand around to uh, watch to see what he pulled out. Gave him a shove to get him away from me and to prevent him from digging in his bag. He came up with closed fists and I sprayed him. Some Centro Ybor restaurant managers are defending Moose, saying he is always fair. I works with the police force hand in hand and has been an asset in making sure that the problems that existed in yesteryear of Ybor City are, are quashed. Always very professional. He's never once uh, seen anything unprofessional about him. He's always been a very stand-up person whenever we needed something here in Central Ybor to help us out. The security company out here at Centro Ebor fired Moose and the other security guard. He's a father of four. He's currently trying to find work. He thinks his firing is unfair. Gail? Peter, what about the guy who took that video and then put it on Facebook? What is, what's he saying? I spoke to Peter Pepper, and that is his name, and he says the firing is legitimate. He said those guards needed to go, and he has concerns. Anyone here has that kind of behavior, that should not happen. Gail? All right, Peter Bernard reporting live tonight in Ybor City. Thank you.